Don't just be another foreigner, be a local Lao Wai. Welcome back to Local Lao Wai, the show that gives you everything you need to know for a smooth transition to life in China. I'm Donnie Newman. So you're all moved into your dorms and you've mapped out the entire campus. Now it's time for your first day of class. Bet you're pretty anxious to see what it'll be like, right? Let's just take a peek. Oof. Okay, maybe that's a bit of an exaggeration. Let's take another look. Hmm, now that's much more like it. While class in China isn't as crazy as you might imagine, there are some special elements that you should know about in order to get the most from your experience. So let's get started. Now these are your 同学. 同学 is the Chinese word for classmate, and your classmates are inextricably linked to your overall experience here on campus. Now if you're here to study Chinese, your classmates will be from everywhere. Russia, Korea, the US, Japan, all over the place. It's an amazingly unique situation. And while it will take some time to get used to, it's not as awkward as you might think. Sure, everyone's from different backgrounds. But in one important way, you're all in the same boat. You're all here trying to adapt to life and school in China. Plus, you'll no doubt be grouped with other students around the same Chinese proficiency level as yourself. Therefore, it'll be easy to cast aside those inhibitions you may have about speaking Chinese. So because of these factors, it's very easy to become friends with your classmates. And it's a good thing too, because in China, classes are organized in tightly knit units called ban. Now think of ban as like your homeroom in high school. You may have many different teachers and classes, but only one ban, where your main classes are held. Now your ban classmates, known as your tongban tongxue, routinely take part in various social activities outside the classroom as well. Hiking trips, karaoke, dinner parties, and more. Now all of this will require a vast amount of organization. So to organize everything, your class will designate a class representative, known in Chinese as a banjang. Now the banjang will organize all the class activities and act as a go-between between between the teacher and the students. Speaking of which, let's take a closer look at what your Chinese teacher will be like. Teachers of Chinese as a foreign language are some of the most open, friendly, and when it comes to teaching Chinese, the most forward-thinking teachers in the country. That said, there's still Chinese teachers teaching here in China, a country with an amazingly long history of education. Chinese teachers traditionally focus more on lecturing as opposed to discussion, on tough love, and on rote memorization. Now, your teacher is aware of these cultural differences, so she'll try as best as she knows how to tailor her teaching style to fit the needs of her international students. Uh, okay. As you can see, the workload can be quite substantial. You can expect to memorize lots of characters, grammatical structures, even entire lessons word for word. One popular form of testing, for example, is called tingxie, or literally, listen, write.
上新车下放歌抒情，旁边门后是他出众。But no matter how good your teacher is, you can rest assured there will be plenty of Chinese teaching style showing through. Of course, this will take a bit of patience to get used to, but it's definitely a cultural experience you should not go home without. Good luck in your classes. We'll see you next time on Local Lao Wai. On the next episode, we'll show you how all the cool Lao Wai do their studying on campus. Until then, be sure to keep sending in your questions at locallaowai at bon.tv. I'm Donnie Newman, and we'll see you next time.